All right, now the first thing you got to do when you get your brand new Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra is to check for the software update both on the system as well as on the Galaxy Store. Now let me go to the settings and tap on software update. Now this is where you need to check the software update, tap on download and install. If any new software update, uh, let's say security patch for January is available, then it will show up right here. As you can see, we are up to date here. The security patch level is 1st January 2024. Now, the second thing you need to do is tap on Galaxy Store, tap on Menu, and tap on Updates. Now you can see, there are many updates available here for different system applications. There are about 21 updates available. In fact, when I turn on the phone, almost about 40 plus updates were available for different applications. So all you need to do is just tap on update all. This will update all the system applications and this will help the phone run smoothly. Next, there are some important settings in the security and privacy settings on settings menu that you need to change. Let's go to settings, tap on security and privacy. Now here you'll see an option called auto blocker. Just tap on this. It says auto blocker keeps your phone safe by blocking threats and other suspicious activities. So you need to enable this particular toggle to keep the phone safe by blocking threats and other suspicious activities. So let's enable this, tap on agree. And under here you can see we've got messaging app protection and block software updates by USB cable. This will enhance the security on your phone. So make sure you enable auto blocker and these advanced options on your Galaxy S24 series. Now let's go back. Now let's scroll down here and tap on more security setting. Now here you see an option called enhanced data protection. Let's tap on this. It says protect your cloud data with end-to-end -end encryption. This ensures no one can access your data but you. And that's even if there is a data breach. So this is an important toggle you need to enable, encrypt backup data and encrypt synced data. When you enable both of this, it will protect your cloud data with end-to-end -end encryption. Next, under the same page, you can just scroll down. You will see an option called a pin application. Let's tap on this. You can see it says pin an application to the screen to prevent others from accessing feature outside of the pinned application. When an app is pinned, features such as calling and messaging are blocked. Now let me show you how to do that. Now let's say uh, you are in a situation where you need to show your gallery to somebody uh, and you do not want uh, them to uh, get into any other application or go back uh, by tapping on the home screen and access your phone. Then all you need to do is just go to the recent application tap on this icon on the top and here you will see pin this application option this will be available only when you enable that particular toggle under security and privacy now let me tap on pin this application it says app is pinned to unpin this app touch and hold the recents and back button at the same time now i will tap on ok now here you can see i can access the gallery but i cannot uh, go back I cannot uh, go to the home screen by tapping on the home button. I cannot go to the recent application. It's completely locked. Uh, the other uh, person will be able to see only the gallery application and will not get an access to any of the other system applications or the phone itself. And even the phone and uh, the messaging app will also be blocked. Now to uh, disable this, all you need to do is just press and hold on both the back button and the recent button at the same time. Now you see the app is unpinned and the phone gets locked immediately. That is cool. Now we can just unlock the phone and now you'll be able to go to the home screen. Now this is a very cool feature, very important feature you can enable which will help you when you hand over the phone to somebody else. Next, on the S24 series, we have got many AI features available and these features are not enabled by default. We need to enable it. Let me go to the settings. Now here you need to tap on advanced feature. Now this is where we get to see a brand new option called advanced intelligence on the S24 series. Just tap on that. You see. We have got all the AI related features here, advanced intelligence, get the most out of your phone with these powerful features. Uh, we have got phone, get real time transition during voice calls, AI integrated into Samsung keyboard, interpreter feature, Samsung notes auto format feature, voice recorder AI feature, Samsung internet feature. All these have to be enabled by tapping on each of them. Let's say on the internet, let me tap on Samsung internet here. We've got summarize feature, I'll tap on this and tap on enable, tap on continue. This feature uses advanced intelligence to create simple summaries of web page text. Now to enable this feature, we have to come here in under the advanced features and enable it under this particular header here. Uh, we get to enable all these AI features right here under advanced intelligent option. Next, let's go to settings. I'll tap on device care. 
Now here we've got this app protection feature which is turned off by default. Just tap on this. What this is going to do is this will protect the applications from malware and other suspicious activities. Just tap on turn on to turn this feature on. We've got one more pop-up here. I'll tap on turn on. As you can see, this is a collaboration between McAfee and Samsung uh, to keep the phone safe by searching for malware and suspicious activity. Now this is basically an antivirus feature that we have got. You can keep this on and you can tap on scan the phone whenever you want it. Now let's go back. Again, let's go to settings. Tap on save safety and emergency. Now here a set of information which you can enter for your phone for safety and emergency like medical information, emergency contact, emergency SOS, emergency sharing etc can be enabled right here on this particular page. So you need to check out this page when you get your brand new Samsung Galaxy S24 CD. Now let's go back. Now by default we have got the navigation buttons here and if you don't want navigation buttons you can change it to navigation gestures. I generally use gen navigation gestures. I have not enabled it yet. Let me go ahead and enable it. Let me go to settings. Tap on display. Here you'll see we've got navigation bar option. Let me tap on this. By default button is selected. I will tap on swipe gestures. Now you can see the buttons have disappeared. Now we've got the swipe gesture bar here. I will just swipe up and whenever I'm in an application I can just use the gestures from left or right to go back to the home screen. Next, from the bottom of the screen, we can swipe up to use the Samsung wallet, uh, which is uh, set by default. And this could be annoying for some people out there. Uh, now, if you don't want this option, you can disable it. As you can see, when I swipe up from the bottom, the Samsung wallet opens up. First, you need to log into a Samsung account and then activate the Samsung wallet and then go to the menu option, tap on settings, tap on quick access. Now here we've got swipe up gesture, tap on this. Now I'm gonna disable lock screen, home screen, screen off gestures. I'll disable everything. Now we do not have uh, that swipe up gesture option for the uh, Samsung wallet. Now when I swipe up from the bottom, I can go to the recent application easily without any issues. Now that is something which you need to do. Next, on a brand new phone, by default we get system vibration. Now this will consume a little bit of battery and if you don't want the system vibration feedback or this haptic feedback, you can disable it. Just go to the settings, tap on sounds and vibration, scroll down and tap on system vibration. Now here, just disable all these vibration toggles for touch interactions, dialing keypad, Samsung keyboard, charging, navigation gestures, camera feedback. Now the system vibration has been disabled. You will not get that haptic feedback uh, and it is gonna save a little bit of battery as well. But if you are someone who wants that haptic feedback, haptic feedback is good. If you want it, you can keep it enabled. Next, we've got some brand new battery protection features on One UI 6.1 on the Galaxy S24 series. Let's enable that. Let's go to settings. Let's tap on battery. Now here we've got battery protection. Let me tap on this and enable this. Now you see we've got three different options here. One is basic, adaptive, then we've got maximum. With basic option, when your battery is charged to 100%, charging means stop until the battery level drops down to 95% and then starts charging. And then we've got adaptive, then we've got maximum. With maximum, your battery will stop charging when it reaches 80%. So as per Samsung, keeping your battery at full at 100% will reduce the battery lifespan. So you can select some of these options that you want depending on your preferences. Next, now on the lock screen, we can add additional widgets. All we need to do is press and hold on this and unlock the phone. Now here, we have got this option called widgets. I'll tap on this. Now you see, we've got different widgets which I can add it here. This looks like a complete ripoff from iPhone <laughs> for some reason. But yeah, uh, this feature we've got now and uh, we've got all these widgets which can be added right from uh, this area, from the lock screen itself. Uh, we've got uh, some of the applications, some of the system applications from which we can add these widgets. Uh, not all the applications are available. Let me tap on weather. You can see we've got different weather widgets also. We've got moon phase, precipitation, current temperature and weather. Let me just select current temperature and weather. I will tap on done. Now you see, we have got these widgets on the lock screen. Uh, it's not looking that great. Maybe I'll have to change the wallpaper here. Let me just change the wallpaper as well. Let me tap on wallpaper, gallery. I'll select this one and tap on done. Yeah, now you see it is much more pronounced. We have got all these cool looking widgets. Uh, just tap on done. This looks pretty cool and uh, this is informative as well. This will be quite useful for sure. Next, we have got something called adaptive color tones. Let me show you that. Let's go to settings. Let me tap on display. Now here you can see we have got adaptive color tone. It adjusts the colors and white balance based on ambient lighting conditions to make colors appear more natural in different environment. Now if you're into this, if you don't want vivid colors, uh, you can enable this particular option. This feature uses your camera as a sensor to detect the current lighting condition. I'll tap on OK. Now this is an option we have got. If you want to enable it, you can do that. But if you want to keep it disabled uh, to maybe save some battery, you can keep it disabled here. Now that is something to note. 
And then uh, when I scroll down, we also have the screen resolution option. By default, we have got Full HD Plus. Uh, if you want QHD Plus, which is 3120 by 1440 resolution, you can select this. This will utilize the maximum resolution available on the screen, making the display look crispier than Full HD Plus display. Now, this is going to consume the battery, so I generally prefer Full HD Plus. QHD Plus is good, but I would rather save some battery because I don't see much of a difference here. It looks pretty good even on Full HD Plus. Now, let me go back. Now, if you have applied a screen protector on the phone, you might want to increase the touch sensitivity on the device. To do that, all you need to do is just go to settings, tap on display. Now, here you will see an option, touch sensitivity. Increase the touch sensitivity of the screen for use with screen protectors. So I'll just enable this. Now, the touch sensitivity on the screen with the screen protector will be much better and more responsive. The next one is about the always on display. Now, you've got a brand new option, which is again a ripoff from the iPhones. Uh, let me just open settings. I will tap on the lock screen settings. Now here we have got always on display. I'll tap on this. You see we have got a brand new option show lock screen wallpaper. Now this was made available on iOS some time back and now we have got this on Samsung as well. Show lock screen wallpaper. Now when I enable this, it's going to show the lock screen wallpaper on the always on display. Now you see I locked the phone. I set it to tap to show. So when I tap on this, it is going to show me the always on display with the wallpaper as well. This is going to consume some battery for sure. But yeah, we have this feature. If you want to enable it, you can do that. Next, let's go to camera application. I'll tap on more. Now you see we have got expert draw, which is not available by default. We'll have to download it. So just tap on expert draw app to download it from the Galaxy Store. Now this is a brilliant application which will help you uh, capture some good images in low lighting condition as well as the brightly lit conditions. This offers a wider dynamic range for the photos letting you capture a lot more from dark areas uh, to bright areas it says in one photo. Now just install this to capture better images if you are taking images in the darker conditions or brighter conditions. You can also install the camera assistant application which will also get integrated into the uh, camera application itself. But before that you need to install GoodLock app which is a fantastic application offered by Samsung for further customizing your Galaxy phone. Now that definitely requires a separate video and I have already posted loads of video about the GoodLock application. Uh, if you're interested in that you can go ahead and check out my channel and I'll be uh, posting uh, more videos for uh, the S24 Ultra as far as the good lock is concerned so stay tuned for that. Now all you need to do is just search for good lock. Now this may not be available in all the countries. Uh, it is uh, available in some of the countries so if it is available in your region it will show up on a Galaxy Store. If it is not available you can download it from uh, the uh, Play Store. Launchers such as Find Lock or Nice Lock you can download them and install the APKs. Now we have got it here in my region. I'll just install GoodLock. Now GoodLock application is just a launcher inside which we have got multiple different modules or applications which will help us further customize the phone. Uh, we have got makeup and life up options. Under makeup we have got theme park where we can create your own themes. We've got Pentastic for further customizing your uh, S Pen features. Then we've got Wonderland for wallpapers. We've got Keyscape for customizing the uh, keyboard. We've got Enemy Star. This is for customizing your navigation. Home Up for customizing. This is also one of the important modules. Home Up for customizing your home screen as well as the notification uh, panel. Then we've got Clock Face for customizing clocks. We've got Quick Star. Edge lighting. Then under life up, we have got uh, functional uh, modules here. We have got nice shots for further customizing or adding functionality to the uh, screenshots. Then we got notice star, edge touch, nice catch, one hand operation plus. This is a very very important module for the Galaxy phones. Uh, you can install it to use your phone or execute uh, multiple functions uh, by swiping from the edge of the screen. You can uh, execute multiple different functions. A very very important module to install. I have made separate videos on one hand operation plus. You can check out on the other channel. Then we've got routines plus which will add more options to the modes and routines. Then we have multi star, camera assistant and register. Now register will help us do a lot more on the phone. Assigning functions for the double tap on the back or side keys, we can do that by using register module. Then we've got sound assistant for further customizing the sound panel, which is also fantastic. Now this is a great application you need to install and you can explore all these modules. I'll also be posting many videos on this. Now let's move on. The last important thing you can do is open the gallery application, tap on the menu and tap on settings. Scroll all the way down, you will see about gallery. Tap on this. Now keep tapping on the version number of the about gallery multiple times. You will enable the gallery labs. Now gallery labs adds more functionalities inside the gallery. 
Now you can see when you go back, we've got Gallery Labs available. I'll tap on this. We have got many more additional features for the Gallery application. You can see options like show virtual albums, album entry logs, save as PDF option, print multiple pictures, film strip in viewer, video player mode on film strip. So there are multiple other functions as well as customization options for gallery under gallery labs option. So you can enable this and explore yourself. I have also posted videos on gallery labs. You can search those videos or these terms on my channel. You will be able to see those videos. If you don't get it, drop a comment and let me know. I will share the links with you guys. Now these are some of the basic things which you need to do when you buy a brand new Samsung Galaxy S24 series. I'm sure I have missed out on many other features as well as settings, which if you know, you can drop them in the comment section to benefit the community so be sure to comment and let me know if you have anything to add here that's all i want to share with you guys there'll be tons of contents coming up for the galaxy s24 series and i'll also be updating guys you guys about the s23 series and s22 series all the new updates the one y6.1 update for the predecessors uh, will be uh, showcased on the channel so stay tuned and be sure to subscribe to the channel that's all i want to share with you guys thanks for watching my name is salian signing off cheers bye bye